Okay, so what I'm now doing is I'm taking some chicken breast that I have removed all the excess fat and other stuff that I don't want on them. And so now I've got a nice sharp knife, like a fillet knife, and I am taking these chicken breasts. And I'm making one breast into two pieces, which in turn will allow me to stuff them. So I'm going to do that again with each one of chicken breast. You know sometimes this does work better when your chicken is a little bit frozen or a little bit thicker. This is not really a uh, very thick chicken breast so but that's okay. Put it ready. Now, I don't know how anybody else does this you know, the professional chefs, this is Michelle taught way of breaking this meat down, splitting it up into two pieces so that uh, I can make my stuffed chicken. I got one more piece to do. You know, this is a pack of chicken breasts that consists of five breasts. And just for FYI, the cost of this was $5.31. I got it from the Fresh Fields Market. All right. Okay, so now I'm just gonna put a little bit of Himalayan pink salt. I don't know about anybody else, but I like this salt because it's not as salty as iodine salt or sea salt. A little bit of black pepper. And then I'm going to flip them over and do the other side. I either have to use gloves or tongs. I really don't like the feel of chicken or the residue of chicken on my hands. Mm -mm. And then once I get them seasoned uh, slightly, I'm going to just rub this in and maybe sprinkle just a little bit of sun-dried tomato uh, dressing. It may seem like I'm doing a lot, but there's not a lot of this coming out as I turn it. And again, this salt is not as salty as some of the other salts can be. No one near as salty. Okay, I had to put my glove on. Make sure I got it on both sides of, of the meat really well. And then I'm going to... Uh, I missed one side of that, but I'll just... Grab a little bit from the ones that do have it on them. I missed that side a little bit. That's okay. I don't want it too salty, but again, well, it won't be too salty because, again, that uh, Himalayan pink salt is not as intense with the salt flavor as uh, iodine salt or uh, kosher, uh, not kosher, I'm sorry. Sea salt, to me at least. I like kosher salt or the pink salt. The good thing about this is the seasonings that I use are single seasonings, not the, the majority of them. Probably 95% of my seasonings are uh, single. If I'm going to use cumin, I'm using cumin. If I'm using garlic powder, or garlic, I'm going to use garlic powder, not garlic salt. 
And so therefore I'm minimizing the amount of salt that is in the dishes that I prepare. If I use onion powder, it's going to be just that onion powder, not onion salt, okay? Okay, so I'm going to add some fresh parsley. I have to get a little bit of the stems out of the way. Um, some garlic powder, some onion powder, and just a little bit of paprika because I firmly believe that food should not only taste good, but definitely it should look good. And so some garnish is uh, good for flavor and some is good for appearance and the two together provides you with a dish that is just very appealing to the eye. Um, topping up the parsley, fresh parsley, so that I can garnish this meat. And some may say, well, why are you doing it now as it's sitting in the seasonings? I mean, it doesn't hurt anything. It's already be in there. I mean, it doesn't hurt anything at all. It's fine, kind of mincing it. This is my version now. You may have a better method of mincing, uh, chopping. Some people like to use a food processor, but to me a food processor is messy and that creates more work and takes more time. And this is just a little bit of my time. And so once I'm done, all I have is what I just minced or chopped and, uh, you know, a cutting board. That's it. And then I have my minced or chopped fresh parsley on a chopping board. So, I like that much better. All right, so, put that in the disposal. All right, so now, there's my chicken with the salt and pepper on it. I'm going to sprinkle just a little bit of onion powder, just a little coating of garlic powder, and just a little bit of paprika. Again, I like color, so I'm, I really don't like using my hand, but I'm right there by the sink. So I would just rinse it off. Ah, chicken on my hands. Hmm. <laughs> I don't like chicken juice. Ah, on my hand. Really don't like no meat juice on my hand, but it is what it is. All right, so a little bit of onion powder, a little bit of garlic powder, and a little bit of paprika. I'm gonna sprinkle some parsley, and I'll probably use the remaining parsley um, when I actually put the pieces together. More than likely that's what I will do. Yeah, I'm using one hand. No need to get this all over both hands. Right? Right. Okay, so I'm prepping this and I'll let it sit for a bit cover it with some saran wrap and put it back in the fridge and then also having the other hand free from the chicken allows me to address the parsley uh, without contaminating anything as I don't have any um, chicken residue on this hand okay all right and so uh, I will allow these to sit and uh, I guess I'm going to uh, get back to my homework. No, nope, no, nope, I can't get back to my homework. I'm going to take my daughter 
her ID that she needs in order to uh, go to tutoring. Like why she left at home, I don't know. But anyway, I'm going to put this, wrap this up, put it in the refrigerator. Go take, uh, run an errand. That's what I'm going to do, run an errand. And then I'll come back and uh, finish this dish. And it's going to be a pretty dish. It's going to be a fairly easy and quick dish. And it's going to be a tasty dish. A very tasty dish. But before I go, let me let you see how it looks. I'm gonna wash the hands. And let you see how it looks. Fish residue off the fish, I mean chicken residue. Off my hands. Okay. All right. And so that is what it looks like. And so now I'm going to cover it up. And then we're going to see what happens next. Coming back soon.